Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. You can find me on Instagram at Nicole Makes Plans and you can find my website at NicoleMakesPlans.com. Today I want to do a monthly plan with me and my new Hobonichi Weeks. Um, so let's hop in. So this will be for December of 2022. Um, I got a Hobonichi Weeks Mega to use for this year. We'll see how long I actually stay in it, but We'll go ahead and set up December. Um, so I have these stickers from Hobby Lobby. They're almost always discounted and I love them. Um, so I'm going to get out the December one. And I've been laying down this sticker kind of like on this sidebar on the months as they come up. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I have this washi tape and I've been kind of like blocking out the days that are not actually in the month. So I will set that up. So down here, it's just gonna be the 1st of January. And then it's going to be 28th, 29th, and 30th of November. And I kind of just eyeball the washi tape and kind of hope for the best. So that looks good for that. And I'm going to run some washi tape down the side here. And I'm going to put my Midori clip back. This is a Midori index clip. I think I got it from JetPens, but I think I've seen them on Amazon as well. This washi tape is from AliExpress, so if you're interested in that. And then I'm basically going to migrate stuff from my current um, Hobonichi Weeks to my new one. And this is a Uni Jetstream ballpoint pen. It's in the point seven, and it's just in black. So I'm going to go ahead and write some stuff. I'm kind of toying around the idea. I always try to pay my bills on the first of the month, so I think I will write that in here. And then um, on the third, I'm going to write in that... Um, Let's see. I have a phone call with my friends on the 4th. And then one of our cats has an appointment on the 6th. We have a work event on the 14th, so I'll be working a little bit later than usual. And then we have a party to go to on the 17th. This is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then I am off of work all of the following week or like the week between Christmas and New Year. So I'm going to write that in, even though like I definitely know that's the case and I don't necessarily have to write it down to remember it, but that's fine. And then New Year's Eve is on the 31st. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and write New Year's here. 
just because like as I'm referencing my monthly to fill in my weeks like it'll be nice to just kind of have it all right there not that I wouldn't know January 1st isn't New Year's Day but that's fine um so that is most of it I do have this post-it as like kind of a reminder of the other stuff I need to write in so like my boyfriend has haircuts every other Tuesday And then we have, we set out the trash on Thursday to be picked up on Friday. So I write that in just because it's something, it seems very obvious that we would remember that, but definitely do not. Um, and then I need to write in my paydays. So I'll get paid on the second. And I'll get paid again. I get paid bi-weekly, so um, I'll be paid again on the 16th and then again on the 30th, which is kind of exciting. It's a three paycheck month, so that's cool. Um, so have all of those things. I'm going to put this on the following month because like every month when I set it up, I'll write in these kinds of things. And then... Let's see, I need to schedule a COVID vaccine for this coming week. I need to check on a dentist appointment. They're like merging offices and um, just need to make sure my appointment still is at the same time, but at the new place. I split bills at the end of the month and we kind of, um, we pay our bills like Kind of separately but then we split them at the end of the month that's probably kind of confusing but that is fine we need to go to ikea to return some stuff which is actually going to be probably this weekend and then i have some other stuff of like i need to film a kind of like 2022 hobonichi weeks flip so that'll probably be Hopefully today, but maybe more likely next weekend. And I'm kind of just like generally keeping an eye on my like student loan forgiveness, um, which is like, I guess, held up in the courts or whatever. So like just something to check in on. Um, I have a post-it note about budget notebook and sinking funds, and I will keep that. I was using an Erin Condren monthly planner for budgets, but I decided not to continue with that, I think. Or maybe I'll just stop using stickers, I'm not really sure. And then I do need to film like a monthly flip through here soon, so we'll figure out that. Um, one thing I did forget to write was... That dentist appointment, it should be on the 27th at 9. As long as it ends up staying the same, but we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, so yeah, that is um, December for my new Hobonichi Weeks 2023. Um, Give this video a like if you like playing with me's and like the way this is like set up and maybe you got some ideas from it. Comment below if you have any questions about anything I used. Um, just to maybe recap a couple things. These are post-its. I think they're like page flags by like the post-it brand. This smaller post-it or sticky note is from Midori and I got it on jet pens, but I think you can get it elsewhere. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos. I try to film flip throughs, plan with me's for months when I can, although I do plan ahead in the months in my Hobonichi week, so like there's not always a whole lot to set up. I do plan weekly setups, um, so you'll be seeing those. And I was doing budget videos. I'm not sure if I'll continue that or not. If you do enjoy them or would like to see that again, um, let me know. Um, 
subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of things and hit the notification bell if you want to know the next time I post a video because it's not always on the same day but thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time